everyone, it's Kidu. In this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Gallo Thymos, Thymos, Thymos. His Nendroid by Good Smell Company. Um, I did already open this the shipping box, but I did want to show you guys because I thought it was interesting. I did order from Amiami, and they decided to ship it this way, which I thought was actually really smart and intuitive. So, like, you have protection on either sides without needing a bunch of extra paper. You just have the um, cardboard here keeping him. He does slide around a little bit this way. You do have protection from any edge bumps on either um, any of the corners. So that's cool. And then give you one of these little things as always. So this time we have one of their mascots hugging donut plushes. I'm going to assume it's a plush because that seems very messy if you're hugging random donuts. And then of course just their little thing saying thank you. And we hope that it arrived safely. So here is his box. Also one quick thing. If you haven't watched my last slash update video unboxing thing I did. Um, same thing, continuing forward. I might not be super, super consistently active on here, but I will try my best to upload things um, whenever I have energy and whenever I get anything new in. So we're going to be doing him and then you can look forward to all the videos coming out that I have filmed and edited you can look forward to seeing those while we are in this trying time together. Because yay pandemics. And we all just need so a little bit extra content to enjoy. I think. So let's get him out. And then Leo's uh, Nendroid will be coming out at some point. The inside is just a plain yellow. Um, I know he is painted, but I haven't seen any pruders go up for him yet, so we will see. I'm very excited for him. I will be getting Leo, of course, to match Gallo. Um, also, Inuyasha's coming out, and like, I'll be getting him too, so this is how he's packaged. We got him here. We've got his Matoy. Yes. <laughs> Matoy? Matoy? Anyways, and then we have the back spot, which has the base. Looks like his extra faceplate. Does he only have two faceplates? That's sad. He only has two faceplates. I'm used to them coming with three regularly. So they come with the, the one, their regular, like their default one. And then it comes with uh, two bonus ones. So that's a little disappointing. Um, this is like this. So we're gonna do that. I'm super excited about his hair. I love his hair so much. So we will get the back part opened. He does have a bunch of extra hands here, as you can see. And then we have um, extra arm pieces here. That looks like for his bandaged arm. And then his other arm. Interesting. I don't know. Oh, I'm blind. The lighting here is really bad. Here's his arm support or his back support. And then we have his regular base. And we have some... Oh, the Matoy... The little dangly things. Like the little the little green dangles in a little bag on top here. And then of course his extra face plate. So let's open this up. So what's nice about this is pretty much everything is all taped in except his face plate and the base here. So we pull these out because I will be using these to display him with his matoy. And I think I'm gonna be I'm probably going to be using this faceplate. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. So his faceplate is like this. So I guess his hair must pop off instead of having to make that much hair for each of the things. So his hair must pop off and then you probably put them in here. I'll figure that out. But this is his face. I might put him in this face because it's, it's very him gonna be honest not a huge fan of the way the skin looks for some reason he just seems a little dirty and I'm not sure why but hopefully we won't see that once we put his hair on I don't think we will there's just something about the paint job that almost looks a little fuzzy or something I don't know how to explain it but we'll get into that later and of course I will be doing a closer look of him as well so I'll link that in the description below that's where I take a better video 
uh, of him closer up so you can take a look at that if you so please. And that'll just be linked down below. Okay. So I'm not going to take all of his arm pieces out uh, because that is a hassle. So we will just open up him and then I will show you what pose I put him in in the next video. So you can take a look at that. Here's his matoy. It is in plastic here. So it is a shiny plastic. <laughs> this movie is so fantastic. If you haven't seen Promare, um, go see it. I mean, it's probably not in theaters anymore, but I think it comes out this summer on Blu-ray. So I highly recommend buying it if you can't get it any other way. Um, but definitely watch it if you have the chance. So that is his Matoy, of course, with no little green thingies yet we will get to those this is i don't know what this is is this a separate oh is this his little gun thing it's showing it as his little like gun thing that you attach it to the top of the stick or the bottom of the stick i don't know does the metoy come off i'll figure that out later yeah that's a little extra gun piece i won't be posing him with this because i want to pose him with the full thing and then I might change him up after when I get Leo to pose them in like a cute pose because it's me and of course I'm going to do that. Okay, so let's get to Gallo himself. Ooh. Oh man, that's the only thing about his hair is I'm so worried about like pain transfer the way it like flops down over his head. So this is what he looks like shirtless boy in his stupid firefighter pants. I love them. He's dumb. I love him. So, okay, this is what I'm curious about. So does this whole piece come off? Cause this, I assume it's just the front. Okay, so it does, I'm gonna get rid of this plastic so I can show you. Um, so this is, <laughs> this is how he looks with the front of his hair, I'm sorry. It looks like he's balding, like really bad, and he just never shaved off the last bit of his hair that's left. Um, okay, so in the front part of the faceplate, so this is attached to the back of his head and his actual head part. Sorry, that's my middle finger. But um, so the front of his faceplate has these two pegs here, and his hair has two pegs there. So it just kind of pops on in to his head like that. So I'm going to switch his face oh my god i love him so much look at his you can't really see but his eyebrows are squiggly and they're fantastic and i love them they're so good but i'm not gonna pose him with this expression because i'm gonna pose him with this one being a dumbass because why not one thing i will say really quick his parts of his head, like the back of his head, are shiny, like right here. They're quite shiny. And then as you can see, the front half of his hair is very matte. Um, yeah, like you can see the texture. The back of his head is pretty matte, but the sides here are pretty glossy. And I'm not quite sure why. Okay, his faceplate was actually pretty hard to get off. Um, it takes a lot of coaxing. You really gotta like wiggle it off. And that's the inside of his head. Very pretty, huh? We're just gonna pop him. That's interesting too. It kind of seems like it's a different, like, well, it's a whole different way they put it on because normally the bangs have like a full thing that you like slot it in. Um, if you've seen some of my older videos, I show some Nandroids faces underneath. He's kind of difficult to get set up though. I don't know if it's just mine as well but it took a lot of coaxing and he's still not even fully in there to get his face plate back on. Oh man, you really gotta squeeze and there's still a lot of gapping in his head. I'm trying my best to press it down, but it was really, really hard and is still really hard to like get it in there. There's still a huge gap on the top of his head and I can't seem to close it. Um, I'm gonna keep trying, but this part here too that comes a tad bit over the like edge of the faceplate, 
um, does get in the way a little bit. So there could be a bit of paint transfer that happens right on this spot on the faceplate. Um, it'll be covered by the hair mostly anyway, so it's not going to be a huge issue. But my main problem at the moment is this gap on his forehead. It's almost like the... I don't think I can push the faceplate in any further. Um, mostly what I'm noticing is it looks like it was almost not cut. Like, all of this is flush, so I can't really push any further to get this part closed. Um, it just looks like there's going to be a gap there. So hopefully when I put the hair on, it's not going to be too noticeable. Because, um, yeah, that's a little unpleasant. It just looks like it was cut incorrectly and that it's too... It's not, like, close enough, if that makes sense. So now we will put the hair back on. I love the highlights on his hair. Watch the show. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's going to be really awkward. That's the wrong way. <laughs> it's this way. You know, I'm actually going to pop his head off to do this. So this is also at a really, really steep angle to get his hair in, which is super awkward. Okay, so that's the best I'm going to get. You can kind of see a bit of a gap on his head still, but from the front, you're not going to notice it too much. This is how his head looks with this facial expression. This is the back. You can tell a difference, quite a bit of a difference from the back of his head to the front of his head, which bothers me a little bit. Um, but I honestly don't think there's anything that I can do about that. I'm just going to put his head back on his body so that he doesn't look crazy. I mean, he looks a little crazy regardless because it's him. Does he? So he doesn't really have abs, but you, if you look closely there's a bit of definition which you can't tell on this camera um again check out the closer look it'll be in there and i will show him in all of his glory all posed and whatnot so thank you guys so much for watching i will link his closer look in the description below um i don't know why i'm showing that again but yeah there's a lot of goodies in here uh, and I will show him posts so you guys can check that video out. I will link all of my affiliate links in the description below uh, with CD Japan and Tokyo Talk Mode. If you purchase anything through those links, I get a small commission. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. He appreciates it too. That was really lame. Like, subscribe if you feel inclined to. I'll link all of my social media in the description below as well. Please be 18 plus if you are going to follow my Twitter. I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot, apparently. Thank you, <laughs> and I will see you guys all in the next video.